Hello and welcome back to my channel. So today I have for you this first impressions on the Fenty Beauty Foundation. I have the shade 150 and let's get into it. So we're going to start by priming half my face. I'm going to prime the left half of my face today. Um, so this side here, which may be your right, I don't know whether this camera flips things around. So left side of my face is getting primed. Let's do that. I have already moisturized my entire face and prepped it for foundation in that way. So I'm going to take the foundation on a beauty blender today. This is the, I think it's called the Pro Beauty Blender, but it's the black one and I love it very much. And we are taking the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Foundation in the shade 150. So one thing to mention about this foundation is it has an incredible shade range. I know it came out a little while ago, um, but I just really am excited to give it a go for myself. <laughs> This is the shade 150. I picked it up on my holiday in America. I got shade matched in Sephora. Sorry if you can hear that jingling. My dog is whipping around. Um, and we are going to do the unprimed side first so that I don't get any like transfer of primer onto the unprimed side. I think let's start with just a pump on the back of my hand. Oh, better shake here. Yeah. Shake, shake, shake. Looks like it should be a pretty good shade match for my face. Let's just take that. It's very runny. Okay, so one pump has done, it was probably half a pump, like it wasn't a very big pump. It's given me good coverage on this side of my face, but not so much up here, so I'm going to grab a little bit more foundation. So, like, that's one full pump. It's really not very much product, so I don't, I'm just surprised by how runny it is, to be honest. But we shall see how it wears through the day. I mean, maybe runny foundation is what I've been missing in my life. Okay, that side's all applied. I am going to catch up on the other side and I will be right back. Okay, so the foundation is all applied. It actually looks really beautiful. I'm so surprised. I did not expect to like it that much. I do still have some blemishes. Let me zoom you in and I'll show you. It's not going to be good, but I'm going to zoom in anyway. So, this is like the worst close-up ever, but I hate this. Um, I've still got a little bit of redness just there. That's a pimple. Um at the rest of my face it's covered quite well I still have bags under my eyes that's something I really struggle with is bags under my eyes they're like borderline impossible for me to cover so I still have bags under my eyes there it would be rare for a foundation to just cover them straight up okay so let's pop some concealer on this is the Tarte Shape Tape concealer in the shade Fair Neutral um, I know how this works, I know how it reacts with my skin, I just think it's a really good concealer and I wanted to use it because I'm quite familiar with how it reacts in general with my skin. So let's pop that on. Okay, so that concealer has worked really well with the foundation. I am going to take my Real Techniques Angled Highlighting Brush and my Cody Airspun Powder to set down the concealer. Okay, so now that concealer is all set and ready to go, I am going to powder the rest of my face. Now, I do have combination skin. I would say it's normal to combination, so by the end of the day I will be very oily around my nose. 
um, but everywhere else on my skin pretty much doesn't react at all. So I do tend to powder my whole face, it's just a habit, and then I will go back in with a setting spray to really calm down the powdery look. So I'm going to go ahead now and set my entire face with that same Cody S1 powder. Okay, so that is my face all set. Let me zoom you in and we will have a look at the coverage of the foundation. Then I'm going to go and put my whole face of makeup on and I will let you know what the time is and where we're going to go from here. Okay, so I'm so sorry about what looks like a line of demarcation down the side here. I promise it's not. There is an open window there so this side of my face looks a little lighter than this side. But they are both the same. There is no line of demarcation on either side. It's all blended down my neck and this is not patching. This is just light. So don't take that into account. But other than that, the finish of the foundation is so nice. I really didn't notice a difference in application uh, in terms of the primed versus unprimed sides. Maybe the primed side had it go on a little easier, but I really, I wouldn't say there was anything notably different between the two sides. So this is how we're looking straight after application. Okay, so we are all done in terms of foundation. I'm going to go and put the rest of my makeup on. Um, right now, the time is 1.06 p.m. I can't find my phone, so we're going to go with the iPad. So it is 1.06 p.m. That's how we're starting. That's how the foundation's looking. I'm going to check back in in a couple of hours once I have the rest of my makeup done. See you then. Hey guys, so my makeup is all done as you can see. Um, this is check-in number one. The time is currently 1.58. So I took 58 minutes to do the rest of my makeup. And now I am just going to see where the day goes. I don't have anything planned at the moment, so it should probably be quite a chilled out day. Um, but yeah, that's all I have for you right now at 1.58 p.m. There is not a lot to report other than the fact that the foundation is as it was an hour ago when I put it on. So I will see you in the next checkup and that is all. Bye! Hey guys, so this is the second check-in. It is currently 4.44pm. We'll wait till you can see that. 4.44. Um, and this foundation is going really, really well. I'm actually so surprised. So it really is looking just as good as it did when I applied it. Potentially even a little better because as my natural oils have come through throughout the last almost four hours We put it on at one and it's just all but almost five So over the last four hours my natural oils have really helped to like mix it in to my skin and help it to sink in and just look a lot more natural So I'm really loving the way that this looks. I am going to grab a mirror and have a closer look So looking up super close the primed side looks a little bit more oily, I want to say. I used the Benefit Professional and that does tend to help my foundation to like fill in my pores. Sorry, the Professional helps to fill in my pores, but it kind of makes my foundation normally a little bit more greasy. So I don't know that I would use that again all over my face for this foundation. But let me zoom you in and I'll show you what we're working with. So this is the primed side, and this is the unprimed side. Now I love primer, but I would honestly say I probably prefer the unprimed side. So that is just something to note. I did notice when I put it on that the foundation kind of almost sets itself and you don't really need a powder which as someone who has foundation like rub off on them in five seconds like I set everything and I almost felt like I didn't need to set this so I thought that was super interesting um, and yeah certainly something to note that if you are oily maybe this one would work for you because it's quite matte um, yeah I don't know what I haven't really heard other people talk about it because it's quite old so I can't really remember what people have said but certainly on me it's not oily it's just a matte foundation and it's really looking nice. I really, really am enjoying it. So, um, yeah, there's not much to report. It's still looking nice. I am starting to get a little oily just with my natural oils coming through at the 
what is almost the five hour mark. So that's really decent, um, having not touched up or anything. Typically I will get five to six hours without needing to touch up, um, but after that I do normally need to powder. So that's where we're at, at checkup number two. Um, I will check back in with you a little bit later. Bye guys. Hello and welcome back to check-in number three, I think it is. So it is eight o'clock at night. Um, as you can see, I am significantly more, we're gonna say dewy, but it's grease. Um, I have certainly had some more oils come through since our last check-in. It's starting to feel a little bit more heavy. Like when I first put the foundation on, it was super lightweight, really light and nice to wear. Whereas now it's kind of a bit heavier and as my natural oils have come through, I'm feeling a little bit more greasy, which is not my favorite. But that is the kind of rundown for you for now. Let's zoom you in and let you have a look. So in terms of wear, this is the prime side. And this is the unprimed side. And you can see on both sides, I have been wearing my glasses. I wear glasses to read because I'm blind. Um, and I've got two little indents here. Um, yeah, it's not good. I'm still working out how to stop them from happening. I've only started wearing glasses in the past year, so I really struggle with that. I think as every glasses wear does. So if you have any tips or tricks on how to not get these little red marks, I'd love to hear. Um, the redness on my nose is starting to peek through as well like this is not touched anything and my chin as well so I would say the oils on my chin are causing it to really break down I don't know if you can see that but yeah on both sides equally there's breakdown so yes we're starting to look quite oily this side which is the unprimed side I would say certainly looks more oily than this side which is the primed side so I would say that using a primer helps. This was the professional at first, it made it a little more slick, but overall it has really helped with the wear time. So this is primed, this is unprimed. I think this side just looks a lot greasier and heavier, whereas this side looks still a little more put together, even though both sides do have redness coming through on my nose. So that is all from me, and I will see you in the next check-in. Hello, so welcome back to the final check-in of today. The time is currently 10.06 p.m. And so today, the foundation has been on for nine hours. So it went on at 1 p.m. Um, and it's now 10 p.m. So it's nine hours of wear, pretty standard. I normally wouldn't wear foundation for more than nine hours. Um, so this is kind of where I would be taking it off on a regular day. Um, let's get in and have a look up close. So just once again letting you know this is the prime side, this is the unprime side. Um, I really think the primer has made quite a difference. Like this is highlight, but also like down here it's not. So it's significantly more greasy on this side I would say. And I would say that the professional has worked quite well with this foundation to help to control the oils on my face. Looking mega closely. I certainly can see my face has a lot more texture on this side than it does on this side which I am quite interested by. Like I know it's a pore filling primer but I didn't realise how much of an effect it would have. Like I don't, can you see, see like my pores there whereas on this side it looks a little smoother and like much nicer. As you can see on my nose I am very shiny on both sides. So I would certainly need to powder or use a blotting sheet because that is just next level oily. Um, it is the end of the night. I apologize. My lips are dry and yucky and, you know, not that nice looking. But I thought I really wanted to get back and check in with you for the last time. So that is nine hour wear. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I overall would say that I really like this foundation. Nine hours is pretty standard. If I had touched up at halfway, we definitely could have gotten much longer wear. Um, the Fenty Beauty Foundation is definitely a hit for me. I really like the colour of the shade. I think that's good for my current pale skin tone. So that was a 150. And I think it's a great match. So when the foundation went on, it was super runny. And I was worried that would really impact how it wore throughout the day. But it hasn't. And it's just really worked well with my skin. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you did like it, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe. And I will see you next time. Bye, guys.